control. The score is kind of wiped in that sense. And in the SEC, you got to play well in all three segments. So yep. what can Fabi bring to the table in these first two games? Well, we see a Rui Lopez now for Magnus on the white side. This is the first time we've seen Magnus get a Lopez. Yes, for sure. Um, we, we, we have seen a Petrov, but here with the Lopez, what, uh, what will these two guys bring us in theory that has been played very much? You talk about this position being played by both players in mm -hmm. the matchup from Dubai, the 2021 World Chess Championship, Carlson versus Nepomniche. And Bishop C5, that is the Archangel variation, which has been yep. uh, incredibly hotly debated now for, for well over a decade. And, and Fabio has been playing it for well over a decade. And it's, it's a very risky line, but it, it has withstood the test of time, and it's also withstood the advent of, of new computers. So it's actually a very robust variation. And yep. Carlson playing it very positionally. You often see White going C3, D4. That's the principled continuation. Magnus, a lot more modest, puts the pawn on D3 and kind of plays this almost like an Italian. Yeah. And uh, the Italian meaning referencing the pawn on D3 versus yeah. the C3 and D4, normal Spanish for everyone. I'm translating for everyone who doesn't speak exactly. just as good as you, like me. Yes. And and that Italian, that Italian means the structure is flexible. Because you haven't committed to a Spanish C3, D4, you still have this square for the knight and even this square. And so these positions, as, you, as you've said many times, John, these are favored in modern chess because of the flexibility they offer, that there's more ways to maybe catch your opponent and just a, a subtle, subtle maneuvering mistake. It's kind of interesting that in Russian, um, you don't say Rui Lopez. You can only say Spanish. And... I started to realize that not everybody actually knows what Spanish refers to. I think Rui Lopez is more popular uh, in, in the English-speaking chess terminology. So yeah. it's fun that openings have different names across different languages. Anyway, totally unrelated point. Does totally not contribute confusing. at all to the discussion Honestly, that of the stat position. was completely irrelevant. I'm going to tell you that. That was just... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It was just so irrelevant. I mean, it, it, it was on. so irrelevant. Like, right. oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! But uh, all right, Queen E two is played. The rook comes to D A quickly. Talk about these structures real quick, Donya. The fact that Black allowed the bishop to take on C five to play D C is is all part of the plan for Black to kind of overemphasize control over the D four square and the D four break, right? Yeah, I mean, I will point out as Sergeant Silver Silverwater says, the speed by Fabi has been great in terms of the structure. It's like the definition of, you know, both a strength and a weakness at the same time. But the yeah. structure is ugly. You've got the doubled C pawns. I mean, you can imagine White putting a bishop on D5 and attacking mm -hmm. that C5 pawn later on in the game. And things are exploding on the king's side. But Black's got that immense control over the D4 square. But did Fabi just overlook a beautiful tactical shot by Mr. Carlson? Look at that move. Knight G5 is a double attack on F7. It also opens up the queen to hit h5 for all visual learners out there. Get your coloring books out. I'm about to draw some arrows. Um, you could play knight f4 and gain a tempo on the queen, but you lose f7 with check. But can you mm -hmm. take it with king f8? What, what, can we go to the back cave here? Analyze this thing? What is going Wait. on in this position? I have I have zero Dude. ideas. Oh, my God. Knight f4. Magnus's idea might be knight takes f7 with the queen sack. What? You're going to sack the queen with check? I think I'm going to do just that, my friend. And queen f6, for example. Not tight's d8, Jack. And hey, you get a lot of business for the queen. <laughs> you, we've got to work on this. Uh, what's, uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, knight g5. I, I dig it. And if I take, you just take here. Queen f6, knight f3. And white is coming to life. If, if we see a queen sack in this game, knight g5, Knight f4, and knight takes f7. When do you let your queen get taken with check for a minor piece? Unbelievable. This is an unbelievable idea. And there's also like c4 in this position. You could sack it back, but I don't think that works out for black. Bobby's calculating this. You can just, you can just sense the wheels turning in his brain. And knight f4 has been played, and Magnus goes for it. Oh my god. We're seeing it on the board, ladies and gentlemen. The exact line predicted. A queen sacrifice... Black is okay here, but obviously we're all kind of, you know, on the edge of our seat with that sacrifice of the queen by Magnus, but but what a crazy idea. That is just... But unfortunately, the fireworks have subsided, and, you know, I think Black's in the driver's seat here, to be honest, yeah. Danny. Yeah, I mean, the eval bar says Black should be in the driver's seat. You have a queen for a rook and a knight if we're doing exact comparisons. Um 
So bishop e6 here comes to mind. And then maybe a, a uh, long, long-term plan to harass white's queen side. That'd be doing just that, and he's doing it even more concretely. Yeah. This is another chance for Fabi. This might be actually his biggest chance of the yeah. match because he's I, clearly I better. He has Magnus reeling. Yeah, c4 was a very good move, by the way. If the knight took everyone, the bishop hung. If the bishop took, the b2 pawn fell. So the bishop had to gain a tempo. But now on queen g6, you have a threat of bishop h3. And Magnus goes for this with knight c4. All right. Okay, knight e3. Right. Rook, maybe bring the rook into the game. If you're Fabi, maybe rook f8 or even h5 is the kind of move he likes. Okay. A rook and a knight and a pawn for the queen. That equals nine points. But again, the queen better most of the time because of the ability to flex her power with one swift move, target things on both sides of the board. The rook and knight have to have optimal coordination at all times to compete. And now notice that queen takes e4 runs into bishop c2, so that's not possible. Black's only chance is to attack the king side because white's structure is watertight, but if Fabi can get the pawn to h3, which he's going to do, mm -hmm. that's going to provoke weaknesses on the king side. And in a time scramble, there's nothing more difficult than playing against a queen that's running amok. Agreed, town. Population us. <laughs> Bishop okay, C4. I, I don't think you... Oh, he does trade. I was going to say... H3? Okay, H3, G3. No, 93. Yeah, I mean, H takes G2. That pawn is immobilized. You can move the rook. Move the rook, but where do you put it? Yeah, and, and then while Fabi is gathering... Sorry, while Magnus is gathering this pawn, Fabi's going to go after the E pawn. That's yep. exactly what I was going to say. I don't know. It looks like White might have a fortress here, but it's easy to get forked. And Carl, I mean, Carwan is going to try to restrain White's pawns, first order of yeah. business. Second order of business is to use his majority, but that knight on e3 is a monster, so solid. Danny. I think Carlson is holding this. I was going to say, the more I look at this, I think it's more likely that, that, that Carlson whoa. wins. Look at the mutual whoa, whoa, time whoa, pressure. Whoa, whoa. Okay. This is, now it's very reminiscent of the Carlson Nepo game from the World Championship. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is wild. Look at the oh, oh look at four! If you take it ninety five, oh so close to winning what the a queen, fork. but but Car Caruana stays on top. Okay, okay there's G five. Okay, there's G five coming. You had to be careful. He puts the rook on G four. Now, ooh, what is okay, going on? Five seconds, four five. seconds. Four. Oh my this gosh! Be a draw. This should okay, be a draw. I, I don't know. I don't He's know that either player win. wants a draw. No, Carlson is definitely the one playing for a win here. Definitely, I agree. Given if the go, time if you, scramble. If you go C5, there's Queen G1, though, picking up the pawn. Oh! Queen G1. Okay. Here comes the oh king. Oh, my God. Oh! Queen F6! He's, Queen F6. Oh, yeah, Queen F6! He could have won the F pawn! He can still, he still do it. He still has it. He still oh, had it. Fabi's collapsing, though. This oh is my what, where he struggled so much. Here comes G5. He just gives up the pawn! Oh, oh. no. King D7. Is, it's going to be over. This is just like Carlson Nepo, and he's just pre-moving. It's over. Dude, the knight, the knight is such Wait. a monster. Wait, he just needs to yes. cross that last hurdle here. And he does. Seven seconds, one second for Carwana. Wait, it's back to maybe a perpetual check? No. No, no there's way. just no way you can. No nope. way. No more checks. That's it. And the knight next.